Hello and welcome to another Elon guide. Today we're going to talk about how to maximize your gold. So there's going to be seven tips here. And the first one is use your daily buffs wisely. So once you get to 15 or 20, you get this gold up buff that increases your gold earned by adventure for 50% for the day. Um, you're going to try and maximize this by going to a mode that you can clear very quickly. So modes like 2-1 hard mode, 1-1 hard mode, 3-1 hard mode are optimal because they give uh, the same gold rewards as the other one, but you they only have one stage to clear. So they're very quick. You can also cherry pick certain stages like I believe it's 1-9 and 1-4 where they have mini bosses and there's a few others sitting around in there. So that's a quick way to maximize the amount of time you can be farming with your daily buff up to give you extra gold income. And one another thing that helped me a ton is if you go into your bag, you'll see that I have all these skill gems and I've been selling some of them but like I never am going to use the twos or the one skill gem so what you can do is you can just go sell rather than evolve them like there's 30,000 go here sell another 28,000 and it really adds up quickly if you're doing the hard modes because you just get them every run and you'll have after a while a lot of gold and since you get so many three stars four stars you may as well only have evolved three or four and up. So that's another way to get some gold. Another one's don't skip out on the pirates because they give not only the skill books, but they also give a good amount of gold and XP. So make sure you kill them when they're up. And to get them coming up more, you want to go to the number seven of your page here. You'll see that it's this will be at level 35, you get a pirate encounter rate up 1.5 times. But you also get your first one here at level 10, I believe. If you fill this out, enhance your zodiac, uh, you can get the 1.5 up the first time. So these two s seem to stack. I get a lot more pirates now. After I hit level 35 and got this Aeon, I still have to do my level 41. But... Uh, you know, it's a lot of gold to enhance them, but you get passive buffs for your entire team to make your party stronger. And if you go into the recurring missions here, you also get extra gems it is every time you uh, do so many of the Zodiacs. See, like, next time I do my Zodiac enhances, I'm going to get 110 rupees. So it's also a fair amount of rupees. So even though it's a lot of gold, it's well worth doing it. Everyone should be upgrading every single level, in my opinion. So just keep that in mind. So my next tip is going to be if you go to challenge here and you go to dimensional rift. So here, if you look at the rewards and you look at the daily reward for the waves, if you hit level 12, you get 240,000 gold. It's a lot of gold. And if you do it from wave one, you can choose to also pick up all of the gold uh, bonuses when you're asked if you want like rupees, gold, or if you want some bonuses. A lot of the time, if you're just farming for gold, I would just go ahead and take it unless you're trying to push for the week. So obviously I'm gonna try and push. I made, sorry, I'll go back here. I made the mistake of starting from like the highest tower I'd been at and I didn't get like any points because I was at level 10 or whatever and I started with like 2,000 points at level 10 so need to fix that today. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is when you're enhancing your gear so like when I go here and I try and enhance this especially when you get six or above you always almost always in my opinion want to use this because I get a lot of um, these upgrade stones now since I only focus on epics and above and very few epics only if they're high level. But uh, if you end up using this and trying to go for the lottery, you're just going to end up losing a lot of gold over this. 
So it's just something to keep in mind when you're doing it that it's going to co cost you a lot of gold if you do this one. So that's why it may not always be worth it to uh, scrap your gear because scrapping gear also costs money. So once you have enough scraps, I would just go ahead and start selling your gear instead of scrapping it. That's another way to get some extra money. So the last thing I'm going to say is when you're in your missions here, you see these quests, each of these usually give about 5,000 gold when you finish them. They also give you reward, affinity rewards, which can give you gold, and they also move you towards getting Weiwei after you do a hundred of them, so make sure you do that. Uh, if you guys want to see any other specific videos or tips or have any questions, please leave them in the comment below. And that's all for now. Bye.